draw. Hello, everybody. I uh, would like to talk to you, continue on the STD testing. First of all, I would like to thank you, Outer Genomic, for inviting me to speak about my work that I did in, my, in, in, in our lab. Uh, I'm, uh, my name is Sayo Bechai. I work for uh, DCL Medical Laboratory. All right, uh, like I said, I, uh, I'm uh, associated with DCL Medical Laboratories. Um, DCL is a regional reference laboratory. It's a part of the Lab Corp Laboratories. We were acquired just a couple of months ago. Otherwise, we are specialized in women, women's health care. We serve about five states. Uh, we provide all laboratory services, but specialized in women health care, about uh, 250 employees. Our molecular test menu, yeah, uh, okay. We, like I said, our molecular test menu is actually more specified or specialized in women's health care. So you can see from here that we offer uh, HPV, CTGCs, HSVs, GBS, vaginosis, vaginitis, spinal all that uh, really it's related to uh, STDs and the women's health care testing. Uh, we also do that some genetic testing that also related to women's health care prenatal screening. Uh, Dr. Cole told you a lot about the STDs. I'm not going to talk about that that much. I'm just going to point out uh, a couple of things. Uh, we all in, in lab, uh, the major purpose of testing there are several purposes of testing. One, you screen for STDs, or you use the testing as a diagnostic testing. On screening, usually we test patients that either don't have symptoms, or there is a reason, maybe annual checkup, or prenatal screening, or pregnancy follow-up, or uh, perhaps we can screen a woman that it, it's at higher risk of acquiring STDs, or perhaps has a partner that is exposed or has a higher risk of acquiring STDs. So you mainly use that test in screening to uh, just check the patients that are asymptomatic and most of the time a positive rates are very low. You expect to be low on this patient population. Now another purpose, like I said, is diagnostics and that would be used in a patients that have symptoms or complaints or suspected disease. And then uh, so most of these tests, uh, for example, and, and I'm not going to talk about disease, most of these infections caused by these uh, microorganisms or pathogens could be done for those two reasons, screening or diagnostics testing. So anyways, um, and could be done by serology or molecular. Even molecular tests today are used for screening, like for example, HPV and chlamydia and Neisseria and so on. And we do actually in my lab, we perform most of them, just several uh, that I uh, have not uh, uh, put in there. Uh, today I'm gonna talk more about a genital mycoplasma as a part of the STDs or STIs, sexually transmitted infection. And Dr. Cole touched a little bit on that, but uh, we have uh, developed this uh, uh, profile and they're using it very well. Actually, it's a very strong demand for OBGYNs for this testing. And I'll tell you the reason why, but uh, it's a molecular assay that we use uh, our genomics test. I think that's the only one available as a profile in, 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 in the market. Uh, and I'm not gonna talk too much about the mycoplasma, but uh, those are a uh, my, mycoplasma hominy and mycoplasma genitalium and uroplasma belong to the family of mycoplasmatas. So uh, they are small, the smallest bacterial microorganism and they don't have a cell wall. And because of that, it's really hard to uh, uh, identify them because uh, gives, uh, I mean, uh, gram stain will not work. And the only stain that we use to uh, really uh, do the identification would be Gimza stain. Anyways, uh, usually, Primarily are mucosal associated bacteria found in the respiratory and urogenitalic tract. And obviously uh, could be found in some other organ uh, in, in some other tissues. For example, uroplasma, it is well known that could, could attach or could, 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 could attach to even the sperm and cause the fertility. But mainly a, uh, the disease or, or that we're going to look is going to be either in, in a woman's health care from genitalia. And also because they don't have a cell wall, 
drugs that inhibit the cell wall synthesis will not work for treatment of this uh, infection. And this is just a, a slide showing a bio uh, characteristics of genital mycoplasma. Bio, bio information like, for example, uroplasma, it is well known, it produces urea, that's their a metabolic marker for identification. Mycoplasma, uh, hominis, arginine, and so on. And this is a uh, picture of the uh, mycoplasma hominin, and looks like a, a fried eggs and also uroplasma urolyticum and this is a picture uh, taken from the inflammated tissue caused by uh, this uh, microorganisms. Uh, usually colonialization occurs during the vaginal birth and that's what we usually would use this uh, testing to screen for neonatal diseases in patients that are going to give a birth and in adults usually colonization starts like at the teenage and obviously when they uh, after sexual activity mainly known as a non gonorrhea or non chlamydia ureth urethritis these pathogens actually can cause several and severe diseases in adults and in neonates especially can cause a lot of complications in pregnancy or pregnancy termination and this is a table showing really uh, about the diseases that this three microorganism can cause. And as you may see, uh, urethritis, cervicitis, and pelvic inflammatory disease are list, link, listed as the first one because that's where most of the uh, 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 screening is actually, or testing is done to really, after OBGYNs, like Dr. Cole, test for chlamydia, Neisseria, then for other pathogens that are on the list. and we usually are negative, then he would go and test for uh, mycoplasma genitalia to make sure that that, that uh, and that's where, where probably he would diagnose that that's caused by mycoplasma. Because as you may know, mycoplasmas, like I said, colonization occurs after the teenage, and, and, and many of those that uh, Dr. Cole also talked about, bacterial vaginosis, some of these are as a normal flora in our body. but because of the variety of reason being that because of hormones or therapy or uh, change in hormones therapy the ratio between these bacteria can change and that can also cause the a inflammation which could lead to the disease or uh, uh, complication so in addition to that like i said uh, uh ureoplasma is very well known to attach to other uh, cells and it can attach to the spermatozoids and cause the a impair or decrease the motility of sperm which is directly linked to the infertility. Also, like I said, can cause a neonatal diseases, uh, can cause neonatal bacteremia, uh, respiratory diseases, congenital pneumonia, neonatal meningitis. And that's where really, it's very important to make sure that uh, uh, women before they get, give a birth should be tested for this panel to make sure that a will not or, or we, you, the, the newborn will not get a, a bacteria or infection with this bacteria and could cause this severe diseases. And this is a slide like Dr. Cole uh, talked about it, that uh, this infection could relate to a, a preterm labor and also uh, abortion or pregnancy complication. And as you know, when the infection is transmitted to placenta, a lot of inflammatory cytokines and prostaglandins are secreted by mother and by fetus, which then causes severe contraction and that could re result to a pregnancy termination or a rupture or preterm labor and so on. And also could be also trans transmitted the infection to a neonate and can cause a, a fetal death and, 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 and stillbirth. Now, uh, I just put in here clinical utility of this panel, which is really important because when tomorrow, if you adapt this technology, you want to put something together for the physician where they can use and what is it used for. And uh, you can see from the slide, it, it has a broad clinical utility based on all those infections and diseases that, that, that could cause by this uh, infectious disease pathogens. Uh, in specimen collection, could be done, like I said, we could offer this test as a screening or diagnostic purposes. And if it's screening, we can uh, collection from 
genital collection using a swab and placed it in M4 media or E swab, which is a bacterial swab and maintains very well viability of the microorganism. Uh, we also validated ourselves from urine for mycoplasma genitalium for male because when you want to test 